I have lost track of time here. I've been here, I think, about two weeks. And how I got here was I was living in the city of Greenville, which no longer exists for the most part. Well, at first, I, it wasn't, it didn't affect us at all. It was off someplace, someplace called Dixie. I didn't know what Dixie even meant. I still don't know what it means. Then it was, oh no, we have to go too. Surely Greenville won't burn, but then it did. And now all we can see are ashes. I can't go there yet. These are all people who either don't have a home or don't have access to a home. I still have a house standing, no damage, but I can't get into it. I mean, it's got bedding. He, that's his area on the left, and I'm over here on this end. They're basically just beds that turn into tables. So this was the designated refugee area. He was a refugee. He's a rescue from the streets of Susanville. So he's used to being a refugee. Now it's unbelievable. But what is taking place all around me is unbelievable. Nothing can, can fill in my, my disbelief. I mean, it, it's real. I know it's real. There's no question about that. I don't even have a doubt about that. But it's still unimaginable. And its duration and its impact on these people, all of us, including me, is unbelievable. It's just, how can this be? Yeah. 